Hey, this is Alex Kasinik, and I actually want to get into Blender's most essential tools, and that being extruding. So actually, when you extrude, you select a certain part of your mesh and create an outset or inset of that selected shape. So the best example I could give would be like squeezing dough through a stencil or something like that. Anyways, like I said, you actually start by selecting a part of your mesh. So I'm just going to tab into edit mode here. And once in edit mode, you can either select a vertex or an edge or face. And um, you start by right clicking on whatever you want selected, of course. And after that, the shortcut for extruding is actually E. So you just press E. And you'll notice that the selected face actually extrudes along the normals, and the normals meaning the initial direction of the face. So you'll note that our face was pointing like up and down, so it extrudes up and down, basically. And you can actually confirm the extrusion by left clicking, like placing any object, and that's pretty much it. But something I actually want to mention is a just step back here a little bit. Another thing you can actually do when extruding, so I'm, I just pressed E to extrude, you can actually right click instead of left clicking to snap it right back along the surface of the object. Now you're probably wondering what you ever would want to do with snapping it back to the surface. Well, I actually find myself using this technique quite a bit. Um, for example, say you wanted to make an inset on an object like a box or a bowl or something, um, what you want to do is actually snap it back, so right click, and then you can actually press S to scale, and you can scale along the surface inwards uh, to whatever you want. And then once you've done that, you can actually press E again to extrude inwards to create a box or some kind of hole in an object. Um, and an easier way to do this is actually to go into an orthographic side view or front view and press Z for wireframe. You can actually see uh, the amount that it's inset into the object and you can get a better idea of what uh, how you want it to look. So just by doing that you can create a simple box or any kind of inset into an object and um, you'll find yourself actually using this quite a bit. Okay, so there's actually a faster method of extruding. Now what you actually want to do is hold down control and left click anywhere in the 3D view to extrude. And what this will do is it extrudes exactly to where your mouse pointer is. And it's actually a lot faster for creating multiple extrusions on a certain object, but it sometimes get a, uh, gets a little bit messy and inaccurate at times. So say I wanted to just create some kind of weird shape with a bunch of extrusions. It sometimes doesn't really behave like you would want it to, and that's when um, you would just revert back to the original method of the shortcut E to um, extrude. But it definitely has its place in modeling. Um, anyways, another thing I want to mention is that you can actually extrude uh, edges and vertices too. Uh, it's not just limited to faces, but um, the basic principle is the same. So say I wanted to extrude a single vertex. You would select it and press E, like the same, and instead of uh, extruding a face, it would obviously extrude the vertex. And same goes for faces. So you'd select the face and extrude. So that's basically it. So there you have extruding in Blender. Now, believe me, after you know this and get familiar with it, it's actually a really powerful tool, and um, your imagination will begin to take shape, definitely.